Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Thank you very much to all the new subscribers. And yes. if you haven't subscribed yet and you're digging the show, please do so now. Absolutely, and guess what, Overwatch fans? Sombra and Symmetra are here. Carolina Rivasa and Anjali Bamani. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Well, guys, the Overwatch celebration continues with the two fabulous actresses you love as Sombra and Symmetra. We have a lot to talk about with these gorgeous women, so let's get buzzed with the wonderful Carolina Ravasa and Anjali Bamani. Welcome Yay! to Weekly. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Unbelievable. Ooh, we're twins, too. <laughs> we may or may not say the same thing at the same time. <laughs> we spend a lot of time together a on a lot of airplanes, so you start to become... Yeah, nice. well, and I also just... Yeah forced her to be my friend and like why they drag her to yoga. That's so. awful. Yeah, this is pretty cool because... It seems to be going well. <laughs> well yeah, exactly, right? We think, we think, we yeah. think it is. So far so Fingers good. Fingers crossed. Yeah. We very rarely have two people on yes. at the same time. Mm -hmm. We've only done that like just a couple of times and it's been for like, you know, specific like really, really cool reasons. Mm -hmm. You guys are one of those Apparently really, really cool it. reasons. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So I, and I, as we're going to get right into it because we got a lot of questions for you. Mm -hmm. cool. um, so <laughs> the first one is being Overwatch. Blizzard's Overwatch, one of the coolest games out there. Mm -hmm. And the two of you happen to play some pretty significant roles uh, mm -hmm. that we want to talk about. Um, Sombra and Symmetra. So I want to ask, or we want to ask you guys, what is, how did you guys land those roles? Because were you, and we want to know everything, like were you friends beforehand and got the role? Okay, go ahead, one of you at a time. Uh, we love to say that it's not as sexy story yeah, as everyone imagines. And yeah. Kaplan called us and said, hey, I got this role for you. Um, I auditioned through my agents like, I auditioned for a gazillion, bazillion things and never get them. And this was one of the amazing ones that I did. Mm -hmm. um, so I auditioned and like two months later they said I was recording and I didn't even remember what I was gonna record. I didn't know what the game was or, or if When you auditioned, you had no idea what it was. No. It's super secret. Yeah. yeah. Right. Different name for the character. So that's why when I booked it, I'm like, I never auditioned for that. Right, um, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so, and we didn't know each other either, nope. so. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the, at the time, you were living in? New York. New York, and you too? No, here. I you lived were in New here. York a while okay. ago, but I lived here. So then you got an audition for something else. Well, uh, <laughs> no, I, I had an audition for this. I was actually traveling at the time, though. I was in London, and so I recorded it on my iPhone. And was like, there's no way this is gonna happen. I was on my way out the door, and I was gonna have to, rec like, I was on my way to a flight at seven o'clock in the morning, and at last minute recorded it, and you know, didn't think it was possible because mm. there's no way it's going to be high quality enough and all of that. But technology is Gotta amazing. Gotta love those Apple. Right? Technology. Thanks, though. Apple. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Am I allowed to say thanks? The, the late I great. I think so. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. They've kind of figured it out. Um, they really have. <laughs> so I too, though, didn't know anything about the game other than it was being done by Blizzard and knowing that Blizzard doesn't do anything right. half. I'm not allowed to say the word in. Uh, uh, half bootied. Um, half booty. Half booty. Very good. Half booty. They don't do anything half, half booty. That's good. That's a new word. Coin it. Um, <laughs> uh, knowing that, I was really excited knowing that they did World of Warcraft and all mm -hmm. that stuff. But it wasn't until getting into the first session that I actually r realized uh, oh, oh. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. This is this yeah. is what we're doing. Yeah. This is what wow. we're after. I mean, we've talked to, we talked to Crispin and we talked to Matthew and. Um, but from your perspective, what do you think it is about Overwatch that has really made such a profound impact on the video game industry and, and the fans? I mean, because it's a real game changer, I'll wouldn't you say? PR agent. No puns. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, that's true. I think there are, there are so many different things, but I, I think if we were to pick like some of the pillars, one of them is the inclusivity factor, mm -hmm. which starts with the developer, you know, the developer team and, yep. and goes all the way through the game. Yep. Jeff uh, notably said the only people we want to exclude from playing this game are people who exclude other people. Wow. And it's because it's not about a sort of Noah's Ark, let's get one of everything, but it's the sense that there are, there are these, this group of heroes that have many different aspects to their character. They have multiple layers. They, they may be of a certain ethnicity or a certain background or a certain life story, but that's only one part of who they are. Mm -hmm. So they're all very complex and there is always someone for every player to identify with. 
you know, whether because of they're Latina or Indian or because right. they're on the autism spectrum like Symmetra or because they're, you know, a, a lone horse like Reaper or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's something for everyone mm -hmm. to identify with. Yeah. And then um, also the the fact that there are multiple ways into the game. You don't just have to play it to get into it. Right. right. Because of all of that story, because there's such deep lore involved. I mean, Sombra's a, a great example of that. That whole character was teased out for, for so long before anyone could play her in the game. So Because so she was, was a hacker, they were dropping a lot of clues so that mm -hmm. people who were good at hacking or engineers had to like actually find the clues. It was a little more complicated to, to figure out like where you could... To get to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, so mysterious. And so there's have you have you ever gotten to you? She's like, wow, no. That was so <laughs> meta. No. I'm, still, I'm still searching. Oh, yes. <laughs> I found you. Yeah. I see you. I see you. That's funny, You're safe man. here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 let me ask you guys. I mean, for the people out there that maybe don't know that would love to work, at, you know, in video games, um, that are working towards that, what's it like? at an actual session for a game of this magnitude? Like, give us a, a, a daily kind of brief on what you guys Because you're recording through. individually. You're not, yes, correct. Of course. You're not doing yeah, a yeah, cast yeah. record so like someone. Um, usually they're four hour sessions and we work the whole time. I mean, there's a break in between. Yeah. Uh, we've been really lucky. Most most of the time we work with Andrea Toyas, who is a fabulous voice director. Mm -hmm. And I think she, I mean, after working with other people, I'm just like, Andrea's incredible because she really she really helps us find the deepest meaning that line can have yeah. mm -hmm. and and she we dig deep into who our characters are and if that line's not convincing enough we're going to find the sassiness the quirk the this the that and it's just it's very complex so i like that because they let us find it instead of just kind of telling us what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. yeah. and that's really cool and usually you know there's a lot of command lines um, moving the payload do this do that help me this you know like uh, so so it's a lot of that um, but but what's really cool is when when we do have our stories we get to dig deeper into um, some more emotional stuff and then there's the dying and then there's, oh, yeah, all and then, of the and then there's the dying and all oh the, the death sounds which, which in fairness I, I haven't had to do as many of them <laughs> as I thought like once you once we've done them for the most part Unless there's a new character with a crazy new ability that that requires a new form of death, mm -hmm. yeah, and a new that electrocution. First, or that, yeah, no, like you're falling off a cliff, but then you hit something on the way down, and like all these different, you know, you froze to death, and having to think of all the different <laughs> ways that that would that that would sound is yeah. is uh, it's a treat. Yeah. It's it actually is. a treat. I mean, your voice doesn't think of it as a treat, but it's definitely an acting treat to go through. But they are again in session, and this is something um, not every company is as diligent about. Right. We are very, very careful about making sure that we do those at the end of the session, mm -hmm. that we only do them so many times, because yeah. they, they understand that like you know, a voice is breakable. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Um, and the sessions are also just really fun. They are. They're yeah. really, really fun. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of times they will be incorporating lines that came out of something that they saw the community Starting to say like um, Symmetra's line setting up the car wash came from them calling her turrets in a room. Um, like if she sets up her turrets in the room and someone walks in and they get zapped by all the ah, turrets, they call it the like car, car wash. Car wash. Uh -huh. That's great. So that yeah. came from it. that, or yeah. or you know different skins that come from that come from the community. So it's really fun to see what's going to get brought mm -hmm. in from from them, not just from yeah. the minds of the yeah. dev team. So it truly is inclusive on every level, yeah. oh which God. is oh, yeah. so totally. fantastic. That's Absolutely. really, really yeah. cool. Yeah. And those four-hour sessions, yeah. how many days of that do you go through? Oh, not, uh, not too many. Not too not many? Not too many. I mean, like, we, we redo them. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll do one for, like, new events and such. We'll but do them. when you recorded the bulk of Sombra. Yeah, when you recorded the bulk. I think I did Five or six sessions. So yeah, maybe, and yeah. I don't. I don't even know that I did that many because you had your animated short as well. Oh, that's true. And I haven't. I haven't had that yeah. one yet. Yeah. Yes. So I'd say tw tw I like to say it's twenty five <laughs> hours ish of yeah. like yeah. everything. And now when we go back in and every once in a while, yeah. it's another four hour session. But it's at any point during yeah. your sessions, did you ever like have any little vocal problems? Did you have to take you know take a break or take two or uh, maybe no? No. That's good. I'm also very lucky because Symmetra's voice is very calm. I was just you know? gonna say yes, the same thing. It's really so easy. down here. It's really easy, yeah. and she's really mellow, and she's really elegant, and she sounds like my cousin, and she's so, you know, it, it, it's not off. It's just not like right. I think about Darren DePaul doing Reinhardt or Josh Petersdorf yeah. doing Roadhog, and the amount mm -hmm. of um, yeah. vocal vocal 
taxation yeah. that is being yeah. done. Or like yeah. if Sombra sounded like this oh the whole God. time. I would kill myself. I what does Sombra because sound like? I would love it. Sound Sombra like strangling very, yourself. A, a deep voice, so <laughs> yeah. it's all down here, you know, with an accent, and like I don't have to go very high pitch. So for me, it's good because I have a low voice. And is that natural for you? It is that it is. accent. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I mean, yeah, I yeah. only get well, Spanish. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but I mean, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can. if somebody yeah. didn't meet you, and you yes. know, they wouldn't be like, oh yeah, she's uh, she's Spanish, you know. Yes. So you can yeah. do that day I in day out. I totally get it. People think yes. I'm Swedish all the time. And I'm <laughs> like, Me <laughs> too. <Yeah. laughs> so weird. It's so weird. The more you know. Swedish eating hummus. Oh, really no, weird. Right? That's so um, funny, man. <laughs> Quick sidebar, mm. speaking of Carolina's register, okay. you guys, you and Carolina have a little history. Yeah, we you have. You guys worked together on an animation demo. Yes. Um, uh, by many people I've heard, this guy does the best demos. Thank you, that is so cool. I can attest, really? absolutely, yeah. yes. You're very, very, you're very good at what you do, Chuck. Yeah, well you, Congratulations I, thank on that. you, I appreciate that. It's That's a joy really, really cool. to record with you. It was so you. great working with you, man. I, it That's really was, so it was a treat. But the, the cool thing was, is that it's so weird the way things happen, because the world is so small, even though it's so big. So you were at a con, and then you met <laughs> Justin <laughs> and E, who's now your manager, yeah. or who was your manager, right, you two. Yeah, he, he gets his convention of Exactly, yep. um, and then Jess Harnell. Jess Harnell. And then how did my, how did I come up in that whole? Well, and Jen Hale. And Jen. Oh, yeah. and Jen Hale. Yeah. I had <clears throat> my self produced demo on me. That was it was I was putting it together, and yeah. and I was gonna have a friend add sound and music, and I said, you know what? Pause. I'm here in Australia. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to Jen and see what she thinks, and she listens to it. And we had <laughs> done um, with twisted tunes with with Jeff and right. Jess and all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Jen listened to it, and she goes, Carolina, mm-hmm. I saw you on stage, and you. Can rock it a lot more than this, and I was like, "Yeah, because I did it on my own, and it's terrible." Did her lip actually go up when she said <laughs> this? That. She was very motherly this. and kind like about it. it, it yeah. She like, did okay. the Billy Idol. It was like an internal thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was like she got yeah. a little Billy Idol. Internal about it. cringe. Yeah. yeah, just a little yeah. Billy Idol. Yeah. So then she said, "I can recommend some people," and we started talking this and that, and then your name came up, mm. and Jess was like, "Oh, he's the best." Yeah. And so I was like, "Okay, I need yeah. to contact." Them. That was cool. Well, that was a treat. Yeah. Well, we all love you. None of us are biased, but you have to be great at what you do. So it, well, it actually is nice. It's I convenient. appreciate that. But I, <laughs> I know convenient. that you know, when you reached out when you reached out to me, you were living in New York, and you said, "Man, I want to get out there. I want to kick some butt." Uh, and and we created this animation demo while you were there. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people think that you can't record demos unless you're living in a certain place no. you yeah. could totally work remotely Recorded we remotely. did yep. and you stuck to your guns you moved out here and like that's it you oh, guys well, are kidding. on yeah. fire yeah. Yeah. yeah well let's go back a little bit further so yeah. you were born in colombia you lived all over europe in the u.s i, I wish mean, i'd lived all over europe oh I've, yeah. I've studied, well, in, studied. in italy and spain yeah. but i didn't uh, live is a big word um yeah. i grew yeah. up in colombia mostly um and then I lived in Brazil for a while on an exchange in college, but Mm -hmm. for the most part, it's been Colombia and the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. And so what was it that made you say, I'm going to make the leap, I'm going to come to L.A.? What was that? Oh, well. mm. It was me. I mean, obviously. (laughs) She just moved here to hang out. You know what? It was But I mean, take us back. So so let's go back even more. Like, so you're in Colombia. Obviously, you have a whole acting, (laughs) on-camera acting profile and all of that. So... Um, it, it, it came down to I, I am pretty bicultural. My my mom is American and my dad's Spanish on, on his side from Spain, the country. Spain. And so, um, so I just, I always knew that I wanted to study in college in the U.S. because m- me and my sisters have always been super artsy and my mom had studied in the U.S. and we just felt like American colleges are really good at preparing artists more than Colombian ones at, at the time I felt. And so we all applied to American universities and, and came up here for our education. And I knew I always wanted to be an actress since I was five years old. I was hyperactive and loud. And so mm-hmm. so I came up to study theater in Boston and then stayed on to New York and, and just knew that I had to stay here. A lot of theater and, and film is done in Colombia, but uh, you pay your bills doing soap operas. And I thought, mm-hmm. you know what? I want to try something different. So I waited tables in New York instead. Um, but, you know, different, so I, yeah. I came to, to pursue it here and, yeah. and fight in the big leagues. So that's really what it was. And I just love I love everything that's, that's done out here in terms of television, now animation, um, theater. You know, that's where I want to stay. So. That's fabulous, man. Yeah. That's so cool. So Anjali. Wait. You said, so, you said it's so French. I love Angelique. it. Angelique. Angelique, comme le Angelique. Stinky Angelique. Perfume. It's Angelique. just like the stinky perfume from the que 80s. Ça, Angelique. Hey, hold on. Okay. Make sure your mic is not touching your skin. Oh, no. Oh. Is my mic touching my uh, skin? Otherwise, we're going to get a bunch of... 
Oh no, my skin, my skin, like skin is no, electric. No, not her skin, crackly. Just there. there you go. I do. I have okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. okay. Um, that was so French, though. It was very French. Très sexy. Très sexy. You know that perfume. Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah. Très sexy Sorry. by Angelie. Oui. Um, so Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, yes, that's <laughs> right. a couple minutes there. I just literally a couple minutes. Yeah. I, I moved out. Um, my family moved out to California right when I turned four, mm -hmm. and then uh, I grew up in Orange County, and um, went to college in Chicago. Went to Northwestern and studied theater there, mm -hmm. and stayed there for many years doing theater, and then moved with a show to New York. Um, and stayed She's been there for a long time. Place. I was gonna say the Great White Way. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't gloss over that, please. Okay. Well, um, I moved. I, it was a really beautiful show called Metamorphoses, um, directed and created by a. Uh, a woman named Mary Zimmerman, who I've worked with many times, and just she's phenomenal. And I think we've done 18 productions now together, and she's something else. So we moved that show from Chicago to Off Broadway and then Broadway, and um, and then I stuck around and did some opera and did some other Broadway, Off Broadway, and then started doing TV out there as well, and uh, then started going back and forth between LA and New York for TV. And then in 2010, made the official, I'm going to stay in L.A. Yeah. Um, so sort of a full yeah. circle-ish, mm -hmm. although mm -hmm. I never really got up to L.A. when I was a kid. So yeah. it, was, it definitely felt different. And yeah. it's very different than Orange County. Yes. So. You know what I love? What? Is this. Because everybody says, oh, man, it's so hard to make it in this <laughs> business. It's like yeah. winning the lottery and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you better have a good backup because chances are really good that nothing's ever going to happen. You hear that yeah. a lot. And here we have two girls, okay, from completely different places. And at the very young age of four and five, they <laughs> knew they were going to be, you know, stars. And they are. So I don't think that was a well I, an accident. I, I, no, no, but I do want to say one thing. I think we do a big disservice to... Hi, microphone. Oh, no, thank you. Touch Keep my boobies. Tonight. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, I do think we do a great disservice to anyone who is interested in being a performer of any kind by saying, oh, but it's so hard. And oh, I don't say we do. It's a, it is a disservice is done because mm -hmm. I don't say that. Because ultimately, I was talking about this the other day with someone. Ultimately, when you say, I want to be an actor or an actress, you're not necessarily saying, ideally speaking, you're not saying, I want to be the most famous actor of all right. time. Right. The same as when you choose to be a doctor. You're not going to be, I'm going to be the most famous doc. No, it doesn't need to be about that. It needs to be about what doing what you love, making a living at it, yep. you know, being able to support your life and your lifestyle, and then being creative and being fulfilled through that life. Right. If that's your aim, that is 100% doable. Yep. I think it's the, the outside... Uh, uh, desires of fame or, or how are you going to make it as an actor? People think you have to, you know, I had my aunties and uncles always saying, when are you doing a movie with Tom Cruise? I'm like, I'm paying my bills, yo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Things are good. Yeah. Yeah. Things are yeah. actually really, yeah. really good. Well, I think it's how you define success for yourself versus that comparison and expectation, you know. I mean, I know when I first moved to L.A., um, I had theatrical reps that were like, you know, you might want to consider changing your name um, you Always, could lighten totally. your hair. Can we thin out those eyebrows? And I was yeah. like, nope. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> and it's sort of been working out for me. Yeah, it's like, yeah. so in this business of many opinions, mm -hmm. how do, have you guys really embraced your authenticity and held on and held true to who you are? Because it isn't always easy. I think that now, as you get older, I mean, I definitely went through the, you have to dye your hair so you look more Latina. Okay, so I'm gonna dye my hair. Oh, you need to this, and I got a bra that adds a couple sizes. Mm. You know, I like I, I played the game in that. You got in that the chicken sense. cutlets. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I still have them just in case. Um, so you know, you you kind of go through phases of like, who am I? Yeah. You know, the crisis, and mm. then and now I'm in a place where I'm like, I am who I am, and it's and 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 I'm getting work because of it. And yeah. I mean, I did end up doing a web series about the problem that casting that I deal with. So so sometimes you turn your issue into the yeah. final result or a right. you know a problem into a solution, you know? So Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of I don't think I've even come to that level of appreciation like of oh, this is the this this is actually a good package. I'm okay with this. I'm yeah. okay with the product that I have until very recently, until like the last few years and I've been doing this a long time. Wow. And I I think, you know, the the this particular industry definitely um, cultivates a sense of, oh, please pick me, mm -hmm. rather than, I got you. Yep. I got you. Like, yeah. I'm going to walk in and do something awesome, and you're either going to be entertained or you're going to be done with your job because 
you've got the person you need for this job. So right. so awesome. Let's have a good time. Absolutely. You know, and I think I think once you realize you have something to offer, then you can come into auditions almost with a sense of service or at least entertaining people mm -hmm. and then it becomes a whole different game yeah. and and I think yes. and I think and just, and just believing in yourself throughout the whole difficult process because you'll hit a bunch of walls but mm -hmm. you just keep chugging along and eventually stuff starts to pan out you yeah know? absolutely yeah. so when you guys think about your journey thus far was there any wisdom that you got along the way any advice along the way that you got that you feel kind of helped you Keep moving forward. Gosh, so much. I mean, there's so many different things. Or made moments. things a little easier or ease the pain. I'll tell or... you, my brother gave me one of the best pieces of advice of any <clears throat> human being to any human being ever when I was in seventh grade. And it wasn't just about acting, although it did set me on the course towards paying more attention to, to that passion. For the longest time, my brother is perfect. Like, he just is. He's awesome. He's perfect. I love him so much. And I wanted to be the female version of him. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do everything that he did. If, if he took a class, if he played an instrument, whatever it was, I thought I needed to do that because that's how, that's how I get to be as awesome as Anish. Yeah. yeah. And I, one day he sat me down and he said, listen, there are some things that I'm really good at that you aren't as good at, but there are some things that you're really good at that I will never be good at. Don't try to be me, be you. Follow the things that make you, you, and follow the things that you're excited about because that's, that's going to be where you find your joy and your love and your happiness. So true. And to say that to me in junior yes. high, you know, yeah, and man. he was four years older than I, was I am. I say, what's so, the age of Yeah, just yeah. four years, although he's wise beyond his years and always has been. High five, Anish. I know. Hello. I know, Woo. right? He's Love dreamy that. and hot and Love awesome. That. Is it weird to say that your brother's hot? But he is. He's a good looking well, dude. you mean that in the most, <laughs> like, in the, in the most <laughs> filial way. But, 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 but for anyone that you admire to tell you what you have mm -hmm. is exactly right. Yes, it's enough. You don't have to be not just enough, but exactly right is 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 in some ways better than someone else who might be pursuing the things you love. So yeah. take that. Be and it, and and to this day, if I were if I were to give one piece of advice to anybody, I would say celebrate the things that are you rather than lamenting the things that you're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You I can always that. be better at other things. You yeah. can always yeah. aspire to things. I think things. I'm going to get a shirt that says all of that. Do it. Do it's it. Be it's going to be pretty long. It's going to be front and back, but man. That's, that's a gonna lot of words. It's going to be a small font, but it's good. But, no, that's but seriously, wonderful. like in this business or any other, the more we focus on the things that we have to offer and the less we focus on where we think we lack, um, I, I think we just cultivate more enthusiasm and cultivate more of our talents and our enjoyment. And, yeah. and then you get yeah. to hang with really fun people. Absolutely. Totally. What about you, Caroline? Anything, anybody ever g give you any profound um, advice? Depending or? on what dark period I was going through, I yeah. had kind of different people that would come to the rescue. But I do remember um, many times this came up and it was just like, you're trying too hard. You know, and, and as a as a diligent hard worker who's responsible and like overachiever, you know, sometimes you you can overwork a scene or you can, you know, um, worry too much about stuff. And, and so I think that you have to do your work, but also there has to be a level of, of you know, again, being OK with yourself and, and being comfortable in your own skin in order yeah. to walk into that audition and not be like, OK, I'm super ready. I'm hyper ready. I'm going to do this because the, like yeah. they can tell that, yeah. you know, yeah. you just have to be perfect. You yeah. did your work and now walk in and, and, you know, have fun. That's so cliche. Walk in and have fun. But um, I think the, the trying too hard or worrying too much or, you know, it's like you, you keep digging this hole and you just have to you just have to sit down and yeah. 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 rest sometimes yeah. and let things be you know well it's easy to say you know have fun but it, it can be really really difficult yeah. sure but what you know, but what you're talking about also what's so cool about that is that it leaves you open to any possibilities mm -hmm. if you're squeezing too hard and mm -hmm. and and wanting things to be an exact particular way you don't leave yourself open to the other things that could come into your life or so the scene true. or the room or yeah. whatever yeah. you guys are really freaking yeah. smart <laughs> holy toledo <laughs> well, you know, my goodness okay. gracious <laughs> You want a little more Carolina and Anjali? I mean, you guys have you each have your own YouTube channel. We do. Yeah. Um, um, what was I mean? And the content is so varied and diverse. And um, what was the thought 
for wanting to and the kind of content you wanted to put out there? Yeah, let's promote your your YouTube what channel. What was the inspiration? Like, what's it about? Well, she just you... spoke a little bit about hers. Tell yes. them more. Tell, yeah, them, yeah, tell them more. Us a little bit more. Now mine is a hodgepodge of things, but it's called Hispanglo Saxon. Yes. Hispanglo Saxon. 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 Because I am a Hispanic Saxon. and an Anglo Saxon, and yeah. I married them Wrong. both. See what you did there? Yes. I yeah. see. She's such a clever girl. It's one of them hybrid words. It, it is one of them. Yes. Um, but people still have trouble saying it. Um, right. So anyway, it was it was because I reached a point where I was so frustrated with all these uh, situations I had I had in casting where I'd walk in and they didn't believe I was Hispanic or or they'd ask me if I spoke Spanish and I'd say yes and and they'd ask me three times in the audition and I was like I just told you, Mofo, that I do. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah. you know, but you would like, totally say that. So I went over. I got to right. dye my hair. I got to this. I got to that. And then <laughs> walk in for a white girl audition, and I was too ethnic. And and there's the stories piled up. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell these stories because people don't believe them. Totally. So I, I just great I shot them all in a kind of sketch comedy form, and I play so, all the characters. It's so good. I love That's that. the best part. You can do wonderful things with wigs and oh yes, amazing. and they're all borrowed. Yeah. It's, it's, it's my iPhone. It's my iMovie. Yeah. I didn't buy anything so really. Fun. Oh. Yeah. When I play the Mexican dude, why am I doing Southern for a Mexican? Know, yeah. Yeah. He talks like this, you know, and he's got like this black teeth. <laughs> I did buy that for his teeth. But anyway, <laughs> right. um, so, really so interested in the detail. That was the, the web series was just this baby that I created, and then now I just put up a lot of Overwatch content on the YouTube right, channel right. for fun. Because um, I think that you know, when I when I meet with Anjali and she does Sumitra and I do, you know, we do our accents. Um, it, it go, it, I think it, it goes together. We're diverse. We're we're ethnic, not just us, but like the whole game has diversity, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what my my YouTube channel is encouraging. So. Um, yeah. So now it's a bunch of different things on yeah. there. That's but, okay. yeah. Do you guys actually have a little skit that you do so as you your characters? So you guys go or? to... Um, oh, no. No? Yeah. no? That would yet. be funny. Make sure you um, subscribe. Don't just watch. Yes, watch and subscribe. So, and subscribe. His uh, Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> um, well, I, the, what is the one that I... Can, and I that when you guys were doing it with the helium in the car. Oh, that was, that's that, just, was, that was straight up her idea. That, that was, was pretty that funny. Was, that was good stuff. So much fun. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> the tricky thing is that we can both talk like this anyway, but no one yeah. really needs to know that. <laughs> Just no brain cells to, were harmed it, in the making oh, of Oh, I that. killed so many brain cells. Oh. oh my god, I was probably high after that. That was not a good, that was not a good. Stay in school, don't do drugs. <laughs> so, after oh. you've subscribed to Vioba's weekly channel, Hispanglo Sex, and now we've gone to Sweet Sweet Ange. Sweet Ange, yeah. Um, yes. um, and my, my YouTube channel as well is a bit of a hodgepodge, because there's stuff there from years ago. There's singing that I did, and, and other performances. Um, there are a series of videos called Bustle Hustles. Uh, uh, which are just I gotta see those. me and my friend lip syncing uh, to a bunch of rap and, and rock songs while wearing great. Victorian clothing. Yeah. Some good stuff. It's kind I'm of not going to lie, my yeah. version of Mystical is really, really good. I'm <laughs> really good with my big old bustle in the back. Um, but the, 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 the thing that I'm most proud of on my YouTube channel right now is I Am Fun Size, which yes. is the series that I started so uh, at the good. beginning of last year. And uh, originally I had thought I wanted to do some kind of a blog or a vlog or whatever the kids call it these days that, that was... Um, about being petite or and, and and the challenges of such, but then I decided that that was very exclusive because mm -hmm. yeah. you know it's just it is, and um, then the premise basically was well we're all built for fun, and we don't always feel like that, you know sometimes you you feel like a small person on the inside sometimes you feel lonely no matter how many people you're around and so what can we do to fun size our lives to make mm -hmm. them more fun not 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 small but make us feel bigger yeah and um, so basically I just put a, a call to action out there for anyone to send me emails with questions and mm -hmm. got a slew of them and then have just been responding I mean I'm no professional I mean I'm a Personal actor, but I'm no, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be, but I do like to tell people these are some ways that I've learned to, to broaden no, my so life. No, it's so good because you're really challenges. sharing your human experience, and um, and it's really it's resonating with people because Absolutely. the comments are you can tell people go I really needed to hear that today, and I and I love when that happens. <laughs> I do, too. Catalina. Catalina. When we go to conventions, the people that walk up to Anjali and say. I'm not going to touch my microphone. Yeah. They say that. Uh, they say, you know, I your videos have helped me through really tough times or the specific video that you talk about this got me through this mm -hmm. really tough time in life. And they have tears in their eyes and, mm -hmm. and they're shaking and they hug Anjali because they're thanking her for, for putting this good out in the world. It's yeah. really beautiful, you know? Yeah, yeah I was yeah. just going to say that is so yeah. cool that, I mean, that you would even like... You know, take the time to do stuff mm -hmm. like that. It, it shows that you really, honestly care, which is really yeah. cool. Well, you both have big, beautiful hearts, which is yeah. very evident. 
um, in person and online. And I think, you know, like when we yeah. created this show, it's like we wanted to put something out there that was inspiring people and giving them that there's no limit. As long as you're breathing, nothing is impossible yeah. kind of attitude. Keep going, yeah. So it's wonderful to be on that frequency with people who, totally. who live that and breathe that. So. Well, that concludes part one with Carolina and Anjali. We're going to be back next week for part numero dos. So check it out. Yes, yeah, so and don't forget to leave your questions and comments below. Follow us all on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you. Thanks for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.